Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about driving efficiency, so that conversation is coming up. So in my three month review video, I talked about not being able to drive the car efficiently and that I couldn't keep the car under 300 watt hours a mile. And to be honest, I really don't drive fast at all. I drive pretty slow and kind of like a grandma, but I was able to figure out the problem. And at the same time, I can't believe that this was the problem. Acceleration is a huge energy suck and we know that. But when I think of acceleration, I think of gun it, pedal to the metal, you know, three and a half seconds, zero to 60. So we know that when we gun it, we know we're going to use a lot more energy than normal, but even moderate acceleration off the line and then just cruising after that is going to use a lot more energy than you think. So the only way to fix this is to accelerate really slow. And so when I mean slow, I mean like a slug's pace slow. I find it super annoying to accelerate at this really slow rate. So here's an example of how I was accelerating. It's moderately off the line, not too much, but not too slow either. And then just normal cruising after that. And just accelerating like that is all it took for me to get kicked into the 300 watt hour a mile or more. So this is why Teslas have chill mode. So if you have no discipline, then basically you put it in chill mode and then it'll just accelerate really slowly for you and it'll drive the car basically kind of more efficiently for you. So for me personally, I just can't with chill mode. It's just too slow and annoying. So basically, even though I do it kind of in a manual way, I'm used to it, but I would rather be able to do it manually than be stuck in chill mode. So pretty much manual chill mode is just you mimic what chill mode does. And so when I accelerate now, the black bar, the acceleration bar, is no more than about an inch to an inch and a half when I start going. Um, anything more than that, and you're going to get kicked into that 300 watt hour a mile, you know, range. And that's really all there is to it. Accelerate slower, and then basically you can just cruise drive like normal, and you'll be in the 250 to 270 watt hour a mile range. So I know it's getting colder now, so maybe you're thinking, well, I, maybe that's why you're getting better efficiency because it's getting colder and the batteries like it. But I actually have been testing this for a bunch of months, and even on days when it's like 80, 85 degrees out, I can still get 250 to 270. So it's really a lesson in discipline. If you can't keep your foot from smashing the pedal, then you put it in chill mode, and then you get that better efficiency if you're looking for that. So another reason I like doing manual chill mode over just the normal chill mode is for basically options. So basically, if I need that acceleration, that 100% acceleration, I have it doing manual chill mode. And this is really for defensive driving purposes. So, you know, say you're driving along and someone decides to make an illegal lane change. Maybe you need to romp it to get out of the way. I want to be able to do that rather than be stuck in chill mode and not have that option, which could cause an accident. Or another example is maybe you're on the freeway and you're next to a big rig and they decide to change and they don't see you. You're going to need to rob it to get out of there. Um, and if you don't have the full acceleration, same thing, it could cause an accident if you can't get out of the way fast enough. It's basically like one pedal driving, but in reverse. So, you know, I love one pedal driving. I use it all the time, but you still need brakes for your car because there's always going to be time issues where you need to slam on the brakes, say at a light, or if somebody in front of you suddenly stops, you're not going to be able to use one pedal driving. You're going to have to use the actual brakes. So this is how I drive my Model Y more efficiently. Is it fun? Not really. But if you want to save energy, this is the way I found to do it. So do you find these results surprising? Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.